Warning, listening to Mac Daily can make you think, question reality, and take responsibility for your own life. Listener discretion is advised. How's it going, Internet? This is Mac Daily. So, quite a few things have transpired since the allegations of the Ukraine squid pro row. <laughs> and so I just wanted to throw you guys a couple concepts. It looks like we're beginning to see hairline cracks in Trump. I mean, according to the narrative of Republicans out there that are starting to say, well, maybe there was something here. Maybe not something that's impeachable. But I always thought it was weird that the Democrats didn't even get the transcript yet and they were already moving towards impeachment. And a lot of people were like, oh, that's probably because this whole thing's rigged. But it lends a little bit of credibility to other theories that I've had about AOC and other people that are actually Trump plants to go out there and smear the Democrats and push them far left to make him the obvious choice, right? I mean, people always say, 4D chess, 4D chess. That's what this is. And so the Democrats jumping all over impeachment way ahead of schedule before the transcript came out, and then Schiff had to go on record and make up words and shit. Uh, None of it matters. You know, everybody that's on the House floor, on the Senate floor, all those congressmen and senators, they all have immunity while they're talking. Now, as soon as they leave that sphere, that little micro-jurisdiction, they're liable. I mean, then they can go to the headline of the news and they can slander somebody and they can be sued. But in the hearings that you see on TV, those people are immune from everything they're saying. That's why they can lie. But it makes me think that these Democrats were set up by Trump with fake information about a transcript about some quid pro quo that wasn't there once the transcript came out and then he released it which was unprecedented so it just lends credibility to the fact that he's been playing these fools all along and that would probably be easy to do i mean they they do business as usual that's what all these people do that's why they're all they're all in bed together they're all guilty by association these people know that they're outnumbered a million to fucking one in this country And if we wanted to, we could just click it over just a couple degrees of intensity and destroy all of these people in an afternoon. And we could all be back to work in time to finish out the day. Sans government. And look how split everybody is. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a hot take. And everybody is more involved than ever. So make sure you get out there and register and can just keep this whole thing going. Because I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next four years. And then I can't wait to see who's going to be after Trump. Ooh, it's going to be so entertaining. Imagine firing all these representatives and unelected bureaucrats through popular consent and representing ourselves via the internet and smartphones in your pocket. <laughs> that's the future. I mean, that's the big change that we're waiting on. I mean, how many more iterations of the same old iPhone are you going to accept before you look around and realize this ain't the future? I mean, we're going to be 2020 plus and there's nothing going on. Rectangle buildings, your power line infrastructure is up on sticks. I mean, how many trillions of dollars do you give to these fucking criminals before you're going to realize this is a scam? But so everybody kind of assumes the Democrats are are corrupt. But now people are starting to question the other side. Hey, that's good good question the whole thing because we've been here before you guys know that right we've been here before you remember when everybody was chanting my love was an inside job yeah all these people were on the hot seat back then and somehow they've distracted you and warped you into thinking this left right paradigm bullshit again all it took was a hermaphrodite black president with 15 names and even more social security numbers and then trump i mean let's go guys it's time to wake the fuck up So, anyways, uh, I guess that's it for today. I'm going to go back to work. Until next time. This has been Mac Daily.